Hi Taurus, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Let's see, what are the messages for Taurus? Messages for Taurus. Okay. We have Sagittarius, Libra, Taurus, Capricorn energy coming out. So just, you know, I feel like uh, you have the potential to be sucked back into a negative cycle. Um, it's just a temptation, though. So just, you know, be aware of that. I feel like there is somebody that's going to want to suck you back into... situation okay that's what i'm getting this could be anybody let's see messages for taurus six of swords i'm being divinely guided right now okay yeah i do see omens here i see messages I feel like you're going to be receiving messages in uh, strange places, okay? Whether this be people around you having conversations or people coming to you and saying certain things to you. So just be open to receiving messages from all kinds of places is what I'm getting. I definitely feel like someone's going to want to suck you back into a situation that you've been on a break from or that you have taken a step back from. Because it's like the six of swords. It's almost like, you know, you're getting away from something here, right? You, you've you been guided away from something or, you know, you're just taking your energy away from it and then it's like wants to suck you back in. Hmm. Yep, Knight of Wands, there it is. Sagittarius energy. We have Aquarius energy. Nine of Pentacles wanted to come out. So you're on somebody's mind a lot this week, Taurus, okay? Um, and I feel like this is somebody that you are on a break from, okay? Or there has been very little communication between the both of you. And they are wanting to come back into your life. It could be an Aquarius. This person is looking for a clean slate, another chance. It could be a workplace situation for some of you guys, okay? Doesn't have to be. note here you're tapping into your ability to manifest okay i do see some type of material abundance happening okay if you are a business owner or if you're somebody here like a salesman or somebody where uh gaining more work would be beneficial for you i'm seeing that happen for you i'm, I'm seeing more work come along page of pentacles you know this is also about your ability to pay close attention to the details okay not only at your job but i feel like about the people that are re-entering your life because it does look like there are some people wanting to come back into your life, Taurus, okay? Um, it looks like you have had a lot of time to yourself here. And how you would know who these people are, okay? These are some people that there was a pretty, uh, you know, bad ending, okay? Or, you know, you guys had a bad falling out here. Something was not... Um, You know, the Ten of Swords can talk about a betrayal, but it can also talk about just a draining situation. Like, even if this was just draining people, like people were just draining your energy and you felt that, but it's like, without them being in your life, you feel pretty good. Okay. For the most part, you, you're energetic. You have, you know, time and, and the ability to get things done with the Two of Pentacles because it looks like you guys, since this situation has been out of your life, you have been tapping into your ability to manifest here. But I do see somebody 
wanting to come back in and suck you in, Taurus, okay? Let's see. Okay, we have the Merlin. This is all about justice, balance. Bottom of the deck, we have forgiveness. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to read to you um, what the Merlin is in this particular deck. Okay, it says, His message is always be in the world, but not of it, and wear it only as a loose cloak about your shoulders. You will never have to look outside of yourself for answers. When the Merlin appears, remember all signs and omens sent by the Merlin are but reflections of that which is within you already. It does say the answers you seek are not found in obvious places. It's time to go within through meditation and prayer and ask the spirit world of the Merlin's magical influence to send you signs and omens to help you chart your course. The Merlin says that he will lend you his wisdom and magic on this leg of your journey until you can claim it as your own. He tells you that justice will be done in all matters of your life, but not by any forceful action. Instead, ask yourself what you need to do to bring about balance into your life. Are you working too hard? Perhaps overthinking things? Do you have enough downtime? All right, and now we're gonna take a look at the person you are thinking about. We have strong Aquarius in this first spread, but we also have Sagittarius uh, in air, earth, fire. Okay. All right. So let's see. So the person that Taurus is thinking about. The person that Taurus is thinking about. Spirit. you want to bypass the shuffling, there's a timestamp in the description box. Hmm. I do see a past conflict coming back, guys. Somebody from the past, for sure. Okay, it doesn't have to always be an ex-lover, but there's definitely somebody here that is wanting to revisit your life. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Let's see, two of wands here. So the person that you're thinking about has two different directions they could go in. Okay. At least that's what they're telling themselves. Why the two of wands is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ace of Pentacles. They want a fresh start. They're definitely seeking a new beginning with you. But they're, it's almost like they're weighing their options here. Like they want to go in the new direction, okay? Um, they're at a crossroads, okay, trying to decide what to do, but what they want to do is go into the new direction, have a fresh start with you. Could have something to do with the Pisces moon, um, but I feel like this person kept a lot from you. They could have Pisces in their chart. Somebody's hiding something for sure here, okay? Um, let's see. But it's also like that moon, for you seeing them as the moon, just be weary of any sort of um, illusions that this person may be coming with. Because I feel like it's going to be a little difficult to see through to someone's true intentions for you. 
this is not to, uh, paranoia. I'm not telling you to be overly cautious, but I am telling you to listen to your intuition and the signs and omens you're receiving, okay, about the situation. Look at that. Six of swords in reverse. I feel like you're not wanting to backtrack here, but let's see. Don't clarify that for me. Seven of Swords, the Knight of Swords. Aquarius energy. So it's like, you know, you know this person is sneaky, okay? Or you're picking up on cues here about that. You're, you're, you know, there's signs that you have seen or are seeing. But it's like this person is very quick to want to sweep you off your feet. They're very quick to want to make you forget all about that. Or they're very quick to make you... It's tempting to revisit this or it's tempting... Now, this could situation be, could be arising um, in a new person as well, Taurus. So take it how it resonates. But it's almost like being tempted to revisit some past old version of a situation, right? But there is clearly somebody here who wants to return to your life. And I feel like this person, you know, they're shady. For some of you guys, they have a tendency to run in and out of your life. But the, the Knight of Swords, this person is very defensive. And I feel like they're full of excuses. And you think they're full of shit, to be honest. Because you, you know, you think they're full of shit. This is definitely somebody that is full of shit. I don't know how else to explain this combination of cards. Because the Knight of Swords is somebody that's defensive. And they have an explanation. They have an excuse for everything. But it's with the Seven of Swords, like, full of shit. And you may be looking at this person like, oh, I'm really confused. I don't know what to do. They're re-entering my life here. But the bottom line is somebody is full of shit. But whatever you want to do with that information is up to you. And this is, your intuition will be telling you this. Okay. How do they see Taurus, please? How do they see you? Well, Page of Swords, they're keeping tabs on you for sure. Okay, this is somebody that is watching for an opportunity to come forward with some type of communication. How do they feel? They want they want to bring it back from the dead, guys. They want to resurrect the situation, death in reverse. That's how they feel. They just want to come back into your life. They feel like this is not over. They don't want it to be over. Seven of Wands, kind of like a distraction. I feel like this person is wanting you to wanting to distract you from something here that has happened. King of Cups, they love you. Okay, that's really where they're at in the month of September. I feel like this person wants to have a plan, but they don't necessarily have one. Like they want to have a plan, but they're acting on emotion right now with the King of Cups, the Death in Reverse, the Page of Swords. They're acting on pure emotion and curiosity. So let's see, what do they want from Taurus? Hold on one second. Sorry, Taurus, I had to clear my throat there for a second. Okay, Spirit, what do they want from Taurus, please? What do they want? <laughs> Guys, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. They want to prevent you from moving on from them. Guys. Now I'm going to ask if they've changed. Or, if, you know, I'll ask that. Because currently you see this person is full of shit. And I feel like you have this tingling in your bones when they enter your when they re-enter your life you have this you have this tingling in your bones that somebody is full of shit okay so they just want to keep you stuck on them now guys if you're inquiring about excuse me if you're inquiring about a new person and if you already have suspicions of this new person i would pay attention to that if you have no suspicions whatsoever, fine. Get to know somebody, okay? 
um, give someone a chance. However, you know, there is something going on here where you're suspicious of whoever this person is that you're inquiring about. And they want to keep you stuck. So, you know, has this person changed at all? Have they grown spirit? Have they learned? Let's see. Give me two cards. Um, who are they now? Okay. And what is Taurus's advice on this? Who they are. They're selfish, guys. So this person's a little selfish. Definitely somebody who likes to have their cake and eat it too. That's just what I'm seeing. And your advice, Taurus, the Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups. You know, the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups, I feel like you have the ability to handle yourself with grace with this Knight of Cups, okay? The Knight of Cups can be a dreamer, um, but the thing about the Knight of Cups is he could also have, you know, he's easily persuaded to fall off course, whatever that is. Um, easily persuaded by emotion. Uh, the Queen of Cups, your advice here is to love yourself, okay? Um, and put yourself first and, you know, that's your advice. You know, this is all about nurturing yourself and doing what makes you feel good. Five, yeah, there that is. Uh, five of swords. This person is determined to suck you back in. Determined. Let's see. So I do see some communication coming in um, from somebody who has not been invested in you. Okay. And I feel like this person is going to be, you know, a smooth talker. This is somebody that really does have the ability to suck you in. Okay. Um, you know, the magician, the five of swords, I do see some type of hidden agenda here. And the hidden agenda that I'm seeing is this person does want to keep you stuck on them. They don't want you to move on, that's for sure. But your advice, remember the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Cups, don't be easily persuaded uh, back, you know, off course. Don't be easily, don't, you know, if you have a certain standard here, don't allow someone to persuade you otherwise. Your standards are your standards, and this is about not settling, okay? Sorry about that. But I do feel like this person, uh, they're under the impression that they don't have to do a whole lot to get you sucked back in. And that's, you know, I don't like that energy. What do they want? Reconciliation. So this person wants to come back into your life. Temperance in reverse. And we have the uh, the tower in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. We also have Virgo. We're in Virgo season. This person is not at peace, okay? That's why they want to come back in. That's why they want to reconcile. They do want your energy. And the tower being in reverse here at the bottom of the deck for what you don't see. I feel like they want to avoid a tower moment in their own life. But the problem with them wanting to avoid the tower moment in their own life and then the temperance in reverse three of cups it doesn't bring about balance for your connection with them. It doesn't bring peace into your connection when they avoid a tower moment, when they avoid massive change, because underneath the tower in reverse, we have the king of swords in reverse and the king of swords in reverse can be, um, not smart. Let's just say that, uh, not thinking right, not thinking clearly. Anything else for Taurus, please? Okay. Yeah, the King of Wands action. So, 
and then we have judgment. So this is someone who is springing into action, wanting forgiveness, Taurus. We have Sagittarius, Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, Leo. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be another Earth sign for some of you. All right, Taurus, those are your messages. Until next time, bye.